My friends, my friends, welcome to Talk Casual and today we've got another X-Wing, Star Wars X-Wing unboxing today and today we're unboxing the Eta 2 Actus uh, expansion pack. So the uh, the Actus 2, the Eta, as people know it, is from uh, episode 3, uh, Revenge of the Sith, where Anakin and Obi-Wan are going to General Grievous' ship and he and the famous line of, this is where the fun begins. This is the ship that uh, they were flying. So let's unbox this bad boy and see what we get in here. So apologies for the late one on this one here. Um, we just received stock in Australia a bit late. I wanted to do an unboxing as soon as we can, so I got one today. And here we go. And let's see if we can get this bad boy out. So we've got all your paraphernalia, FFG paraphernalia, as always. And now here's where the fun begins trying to get this bad boy out without destroying your thumbs and either way you're going to destroy this box you're not going to keep this box on the mantelpiece unless you're going to keep it boxed I think that's the way FFG have done this so there we go let's get rid of this bad boy here alright so let's look at the model first before we head into the cards as you can see here it actually comes with two um, stands actually. We'll explain why actually now. So, we'll get those out, pop them on. As you can see, whoops, that's the ETA 2 on its hyperspace rings. So, if you actually, um, again, back in the movies, uh, these don't have native. Um, like the um, the Deltas don't have native hyperdrive on these ships so these were left separate around a station or around a uh, planetary system as um, a detachment and these what actually does detach so let's see if I actually can get this detached without breaking it Interesting. Let's read the rules first before I break it. Uh, let's see. Uh, is there a way to unlock it? No, nope, there is nothing says about the ring. So let's try that again. Without, let's see what we get here. Uh, I feel like it's got something to do with the bottom. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Good thing I didn't pull. Um, so here is the hyperspace rings by itself. Now this isn't legal for tournament play, um, this is more designed for your um, epic play or your thematic play, um, there's special rules for this, again we'll go through that uh, with all the, the um, cards and the contents pack there. So I'll just place this bad boy onto here, voila. There you go, and then we'll get the ETA 2 on its base, and my god, my, my Lord Tyrannus, look at that, that is small as, but again, once again, the detail on such a small ship, I know um, Tommy said that these ships are small in the actual movies and I get it is to scale but this is probably one of the smallest ships this is almost like a decimator size in a martyr so um, yeah it is absolutely small as I'll bring the uh, Delta 2 to show you guys how small it is uh, but again the detail on this and let's see if I can focus properly focus 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 once again the detail by FFG is absolutely amazing if you actually look on the insides as well they've painted the insides of the wings let's see come on focus if you can see they've painted the inside of the wings with the other the colors so that absolutely looks fantastic and a 10 out of 10 for that paint job and uh and, you know sad news that these guys aren't going to be producing these minis anymore 
But my god, the, these these are actually just very beautiful models compared to your first uh, your your version one uh, ships. So again, you get your uh, instructions, your rule, new rules. So the hyperspace rings uh, uh, is a inherent action bar. So it's basically again. Uh, it's something got to do with, I'm not going to go for the rules, again, I'm not rules per se, but there are the rules if you want to freeze and have a look for yourself dudes, go ahead. Um, but I believe it is for equity play and not for standard play, but again, someone on the comments will definitely tell me about that. Uh, so let's go through the actual contents of the, car the cards and the punch out because that's the important thing that people want to see today. All right, let's go through. Just make, put these to the side so I don't smush them. Yeah. All right, so as always you get the same board stuff from cardboard from FFG. So you've got your force, you've got your your stress, you've got your deplete, uh, so your strain, and then you've got your deplete, and you've got Anakin and Obi-Wan, same old stuff, focus of aids, shields. Alright, let's look at the dial for the uh, SO2. So we have, uh, let's start from, uh, so just the one sharps. Uh, white, which is awesome. Uh, now, a two talon roll force move. That's nice. I like that. Two sharps is white. That's good. Okay. It's not <laughs> interceptor quality, but you've got your two banks and straights as, as blue. Uh, then you've got your freeze, which are your free banks and straights are blue, so that's nice. And you've got your four straight and for K turn, and then you've got your five straight. Right. So that's um, that's a decent dial. It's nothing, nothing to be seized at. All right. Let's go through the cards themselves. So we've got. Um, let's start off with the uh, basics chumps. Actually, let's go first through the um, through these cards. The um. Uh, those cards, you know what they're on about. I've lost my mind, lost my mind, but the um, your fret level cards, so your quick play, quick build, that's it, quick build. There we go. So you got Obi Wan, Anakin, and Yoda, Harrison Dur, Shuck T, Jedi General, and then you've got uh, other ones there too. I think this is uh, actually this is for Epic Play, I believe, with your um your wing movement again i haven't played any um epic so you'll have to let me know on that one guys so this is the actual uh ring itself um so jack trans gel meg control link so hyperspace docking ring delta one seven easter sprite so this also goes on the um yeah it goes on the delta seven so actually it does fit on the Delta 7. We can actually have a play with that, actually. The Actus 2 or the Nimbus V-Wing. So you can put on the V-Wing as well, too. So when docked with you, you gain the ship's initiative and assign to that ship's style. When you execute a maneuver, it reduces speed by one. Before you execute an advanced maneuver, execute a white stationary maneuver in instead. You may rotate 90 or 100 degrees. While no ship is docked with you, you are not assigned a maneuver dial and you're not going to active or engaged. Nice, nice, I like that. Again, people tell me if you can or can't use it during general play, but um, I know it is for the epic play. So you've got your generic Jedi General starting at initiative four. Uh, so this, uh, so basically they're inbuilt um, mechanisms immune controls. So during this system phase, you may perform a purple barrel roll or boost action. So their stats is three from the bullseye, two from the arc, Free evade, free hull, and two force. Uh, the action bar contains a focus and evade, a purple target lock, 
a barrel and a white boost. So there's the Jedi General. Interesting they started at four, I presume because of Jedi's being that good and there's no rookie there's no Padawans getting onto their onto these ships and uh, initiative one guys. Now we get straight onto the name pilot. So we go straight off to Yoda. Yoda, so uh, another friendly ship at, after another friendly ship at range zero to three, uh, spends one or more force. You may spend one force. If you do that, ship recovers a force. Okay, so just a very cool mechanism of um, force recovery for Jedi around you. Um, might go, go well with some Jedi generals just to help them out uh, because they only got two force, Yoda's got three and again it's the same stats but again the force is free force on Yoda and he's initiative of three, nice. Uh, next one up is Shakti, Com compassionate mentor. So at the start, so initiative four, at the start of the end phase you may spend a number of force to choose that many friendly ships at range zero to two each chosen ship does not remove one focus or evade token to the end oh that's nice i like that that is very nice again helping out others that's what the jedi are about they're helping out others so it's not um force sensitive so you can use it on generics and uh, other clone troopers so that is nice so uh our uh, sakura i'm again i'm butchering star wars names people come on uh so initiative five while an enemy ship is in your arc at range 0 to 1 perform, uh, uh, performs an attack, the defender may change one blank result to a focus result. So, um, very definitely good because um, you know how these uh, ships love to blank out um, and you definitely want, you'll definitely be focusing. I don't know why you're attacking evade, and probably on some kind of point because this is basically an evade but you turn that focus uh turn that blank into a focus so you definitely want to have a focus around or use the force actually yeah you can take the evade and use the force so it depends it's very nice initiative five awesome love it and then we come to hello there obi-wan kenobi guardian of democ democracy after a friendly after you are friendly can friendly anakin skywalker at ship range, what? So a friendly, uh, after you are a friendly, oh, you are Anakin Skywalker, so you have to be buddied up with Anakin with this one. Uh, uh, ship at range 0 to 3 executes a maneuver. If there's one or more enemy ships other than the friendly ships at range 1 ship of that ship, you may spend one force. If you do, that ship gains one focus token. Nice. I like it. Uh, initiative 5 again. Um, Aliyah had two force. Obi Wan has three. Very nice, but of course you got to you got to pair up with Anakin. So it doesn't mean it have to be Anakin in the Actus. It could be Anakin in the Y wing. It could be in the Delta. Uh, it doesn't say which specific Anakin. So you can, and it could be the Anakin from Naboo. So onto the Naboo Starfighter. So it doesn't have to be the same ship. But um, nice, nice, definitely. For, uh, Definitely want more actions for sure. And of course, we come to where the fun begins. Hero of Coruscant, Anakin Skywalker. After you, a friendly Obi Wan Kenobi ship at range 0 3 executes a maneuver. If there are more enemy ships other than the friendly ships at range 0 to 1 of that ship, you may spend one force. If you do, that ship removes one red token of your choice. Nice. Well, that would combo well to the two actors. Again, very thematic. Again, with the uh, Revenge of the Sith, just adding those two probably do well against what thematically means it would be against um, your droid swarms and so forth very nice and he has a force value of three initiative six very nice cards I love them all right let's look at the upgrade cards here so we've got Jedi commander so set up so this is, is uh, an epic card so uh, equip the side face up if you are a wing leader you must you your wing mates must be two to five v, v torrents or two to five nimble class v wings if you are placed if you are placed flip this card 
and then Jedi Commander. When your wingmates execute a purple maneuver, they treat those maneuvers as red instead. While you defend up to two or, or two up to two of your wingmates in the attack arc may suffer one or hit crit damage to cancel the matching results. Um, again, I'm not quite sure about Epic guys. I know you probably will. Um, but that's for Epic there. Let's have a look at the actual cards here. So this looks interesting. Uh, the Mark Sable Closure. So anyone knows about um, the old um, legend stuff, the Mark Sable maneuver was something Fraun created or Fraun's form uh, was uh, uh, good at a, a maneuver he created, I believe. Quote me wrong. But uh, after you execute a maneuver, if you move through an obstacle, structure, or huge ship, or if you deploy, you may choose one enemy ship at in your uh, arc at range one or two. That ship gains one strain token. Mm, okay. Um, bit hard to actually execute. Probably this again will be more of a epic build because you've got to do obstacles and or structures or a huge ship. Hence, that's the Mark Sable uh, clo uh, maneuver. So, the ship covers up the squadrons and it reveals them, and they come out. So, hence why you're coming through a ship there. So, yeah, not bad. Again, probably will be something more for epic play, but I'm sure you can you can, uh, you can still use it for standard play. Uh, I don't know if it'll be as popular as it'll be for that. So, we'll come to extreme maneuvers here. So while you perform a boost action, you may spend uh, one force to turn um, the ship uh, to, to the sharp to maneuver templates instead. So it's Daredevil for um, force ability, force ability people, force ability ships, because they don't have the uh, talent slot. So this will basically it's basically Daredevil for force users. So you have to have the boost for small ship. Patience. So that's a light side ability. So that's one thing you, you really don't see because you'll see you've got a hate for the dark side. You never saw a lot of light side stuff. So here's patience for the uh, force ability. At the start of the engagement phase, if there's an enemy ship in your arc, you may gain one depleted token to recover one force. Cool. That's nice. So you, definitely, if you're not, if you if you're going to be shooting or something like that. Um, yeah, you definitely want to take that um, if you're in the clear. If you're not going to do a good shot, you take that. Um, and to cover force, very nice. So here have it, Republic R2-D2. So two charge tokens on here, not recovering. Covering. Uh, after you activate, you may spend one charge to gain one depleted token to repair one damage and recover one shield or remove a device at range one to two. Nice. So like, um, again, back to very thematic again if you have say um, buzz droids around you can get rid of them R2 will get rid of them very nice and then we have the actual uh, hyperdrive so the actual hyperdrive rings so this will be the card so um, set up you can be placed anywhere in the play beyond range one of, of obstacles beyond range free of enemy ships and beyond range free of any enemy ta change, uh, table, table edge so these are the actual cards for the rings. All right, that's it for the actual ETA 2 uh, unboxing. As I said before, guys, I do have the the um, the Delta here just to compare how sizes they are. Again, very small, but again, very beautiful model done by FFG. Well done, FFG. I you know. For all the uh, troubles that you guys are going through, I've got to give you top marks for the uh, models themselves. So, very nicely done. Side. And now, let's get this bad boy onto here. This is one I want to see. Too bad I didn't get the V-Wings out, but um, that's alright. See if this works. It's supposed to fit in here. That's what it says. Oh, look at that. Woo! So there you go, that's very nicely done. Um, should have got one of the um, new wings out. But, yeah, that's 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 really nice. That's something, you get two models in one pack, 
Uh, granted, the mo one of the models is for it's not for standard play, but just just uh, just that looks really nice and look nice on a, on a shelf. If even if you're not playing, just putting it on a shelf, it looks um, decent enough. Don't get it backwards. Probably got, you've got it backwards. No, no, I got it right. Cause that's where the engines are. Yeah, that's correct. Um, but yeah, very nice FFG. I've got to admit that's uh, very nice there. So there you go. There's the uh, Actus Two. Uh, it's an Ether 2 Actus. I'm oh, sorry, I got that way around. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Uh, unfortunately, that's it for the Republic side of things. I won't get the, the Separatists there. And unfortunately, we we wanted to do the uh, Star Wars, uh, Clone Wars Armada unboxing, but unfortunately, that's been we uh, didn't get those boxes, and we might be a bit late for them. But hope you enjoyed what you see today, guys. Make sure you go onto our f Facebook page and uh, go onto there and just um, like and um, basically uh, we'll we do X-Wing streaming, Amada streaming, we'll do, mostly do Amada streaming, but we also do talk casual, talk about Mandalorian, we talk about anything and anything. Uh, we have Discord as well, uh, join us on Discord, leave us, say hi, if you have any Amada lists, X-Wing lists that you want us to look over, uh, mostly Amada stuff, but uh, we'll say, we won't say no to X-Wing. But thank you for tuning in, guys, and remember, like, subscribe, like us on Facebook, and fly casual!